Testing one, two, all right, we're live. Hi guys, welcome to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. Now I'm using my G2 as a mic today because we're going to go into VR into an app that I'm developing at the moment. You know, if you are a content creator, a musician, a voiceover, a community manager, a developer, an architect or anything, you know, that you feel is creative that that could be part of building an app, please get in touch in the email below or leave a comment below so that we can collaborate and you can be part of this project because i think there is something there and by the way if you're new to the channel very nice to meet you and a huge welcome back of course to all our regular views and subscribers it's really nice to see you again so let's dive straight into vr into the app uh, that i'm developing at the moment so uh let me just transition over here we go and then we're actually going to go into vr very quickly but i just want to show you uh the actual concept of the app that i'm doing so this is basically a racket fitness rhythm game uh, where you get to hit the ball, uh, very simple, you're on the platform and then you get to hit the ball in a portal. And then the idea of the story of the game is that we actually get to travel uh, in different parts of time. So here, for example, we're in Egyptian times and then we could travel to Game of Thrones, uh, we could travel to Rome, we could travel to ancient China. So every map uh, will you know, correspond to a different point in time. Uh, you know, we could also do a map like Tron, very futuristic, you know, just different different kind of maps. But the idea of the game would always be the same thing. So don't worry so much uh, so far about the textures, the quality. This is just a very, very rough concept. Um, and then we'll dive into VR in just a, just a minute. And then also the idea at the moment is that it is a single player and um, but eventually we could make it a multiplayer because the platforms were actually moved. So you could use a controller to move the platform left and right. Um, so, you know, we could have another player on the other side and then another player here and then we're battling it uh, together. Or we could have a co-op mode. We have two people uh, side by side, you know, something like that. I mean, we could do so many different things in the future. So I think that is really what's exciting about this. So. Uh, let me just press play so you can actually see the actual uh, in-game itself. Okay, let me grab my controller. So here you go. So I'm going to try and move very slowly. So I think what we could do is we could actually create a patron specifically for the actual game itself and also a Discord server specifically for the game itself too. The, in the Patreon, what we could give uh, to our Patroners, for supporters, is that basically, you know, we could give them inside, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, of course, they get to, you know, try the game, you know, become testers, all these kind of things. So it becomes red when the wrong ball uh, doesn't go inside of the correct uh, gate. And then it would light up, of course, if it's the right... Uh, the right ball that goes in the correct gate. And of course, we would have a scoring system and also a scoreboard to keep track of everybody's different score. So this could potentially, you know, become esports as well. We could do some really cool competitions and all these kind of things. And then we could also, of course, potentially put it on Kickstarter. And then I could approach VCs uh, and studios who potentially want to invest in the actual idea and concept of the actual game. So we would put it on the App Lab, we would put it on Steam, you know, we would put it absolutely everywhere. And I think I think we really have something here that potentially, um, you know, could be really interesting. Of course, as I mentioned, don't worry so much about the lighting and the textures and all this. This is just a very rough uh, concept as to what we're looking to do. Um, but the idea would be to make it much more cinematic, much more uh, you know, not so bright and all these kind of things and, and, and have, you know, um, power-ups come up and different effects and, and, and all these kind of things. But I really need your help to come on board this thing to take it to the next level because my skills are quite limited and I think it would just be so awesome and so much fun to work with you guys in creating something and we could potentially release it fairly soon. You know, I, I think before Christmas we could release something on the App Lab at least for people to try out. We could have an early access on Steam as well. So, you know, I think I think it would be really, really awesome. I really do think there is something there. And um, yeah, so let me just take off the headset for a minute. Let me just on press play here and go back transition over again so 
I really think that there is something there. So again, if you're a musician, a voiceover actor, a community manager who wants to help to build a community, or you're a developer, you want to come and help out to do certain things, or an architect and you want to build the maps and stuff, or a musician, and you know we put your music onto the actual app, you know stuff like that. Please reach out so that we can create something even more awesome based off this concept, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Sorry, I, I know maybe I was talking a bit fast because I'm just excited. Um, but again, please do reach out. Email in the comments below or leave a comment below. Uh, sorry, email in the description below in the pinned comments uh, or, or, or write to us. You know, just get in touch. Let's collaborate. Let's do something really awesome together. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next very video very soon. Bye. And let me know what you think of the concept.